<laughs> well, so somebody said, why don't they just? You want to just jump into that? Yeah. Because I got one. one more story. Let's do it. It's a pretty it. decent one. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Where are we? Okay. Damn. So this comes from uh, Ra Mansell on our Discord. This is a Patreon supporter. Thank you, Ra. Uh, it says, why don't they just use wireless power transmission to extend EV's range? In other words, why don't they send power to the vehicles through the air while they're being driven? Uh, we've covered the better battery energy density, but don't remember covering wireless power. Um, so, I mean, I've heard theories or ideas like this before where they put like strips in the road where you can drive over maybe in one lane and, and like do that. Con is it conductive? Is that what it's called? Or yeah, I forget the name uh, of the magnetically conductive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, so, I mean, let's throw that out there. What do you guys think? <laughs> I've, I've heard this before several times, so worth worth just exploring I'll, I'll i'll start um well first off like how much will that cost right to put a, a grid throughout the entire you know anywhere reasonable the other big thing is uh, on top of that you also have to factor in that when you wirelessly charge something you're literally basically taking a magnet and spinning another magnet or whatever um and generating power and you lose it's only about 50 percent efficiency like you lose mm. it basically to fill up if, if your car had the ability to wirelessly charge it would cost you twice as much because you basically are filling up, you're using twice as much energy to get the same amount of energy to the actual car. Like there's a, a loss of energy there. So right away, just this, the economics of it, like, okay, now we have to run billions of dollars of wireless charging infrastructure, blah, blah, blah on the roads. It also costs more to do than just plugging the car in. And then it's, it comes down to me for like, why? I feel like <laughs> I'm proof that, that like electric cars are good enough. You know, and that like it's not really a compromise anymore. I, I drive a ton in a lot of really weird places where there's not charging and stuff, but I, it's not a big deal. There. And it's getting way better just as there's more chargers popping up. It's yeah. really like a non-issue to me almost. But Ben, what do you think? Well, I want to hear Joe first. Ooh. Well, a lot of what Tim just said. Um, I, I, I can't. I. I have no specific knowledge of how wireless charging works, so I couldn't, this is all just coming right out of my, my booty. But uh, uh, I, I think I heard that they tried something like this in the Netherlands or something like that. They had an experimental strip of road. I don't know what the results of that were, so I probably shouldn't have even mentioned it. But <laughs> I'm just like, we can't even have roads without potholes. How are we going to have roads with, you know, <laughs> with power yeah, generation underneath fair. it? But, but there is something... Um, a little sexy about like, you know, the light rail trains that you have riding around town. They all have that little, I mean, they're all run by electricity and they've got the, the little line right. above, obviously. Or a third a rail connection. on some of them too. Yeah. Or a third rail. Yeah. Yep. Uh, here in Dallas, it's the thing above, but, yep. um, yep. I mean, it would be nice if you could just cruise around and sort of have a wireless connection like that to, to do that. I mean, it's a nice idea, but, um, yeah, it, it's the pothole thing that I keep coming back to. Like, I mean, <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> roads deteriorate. Yeah. So th there is, yeah. So as you mentioned, there have been attempts at this. Uh, I I think this is gonna be a thing. Um, really? There are enough people and enough companies working on it yeah. that that in fact, I mean, I have a lot of stuff to show here, but I agree with you, Tim. That basically it sucks. It's a bad technology. Like even trying to charge your phone wirelessly sucks. It's just not, not efficient. It, it like it, there's a lot of problems with it still, mm -hmm. even at the the level of like, it should be easy. Well, and Greg um, reminds us they call that inductive charging. Inductive is yeah. kind of yeah. 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 Thank so, you. So, um, so so the deal there is is yeah, it's not efficient. It's not like the challenge I've always thought is, you're not going to recharge your car from this. You're just going to hopefully get enough energy to keep going forward. It's like a range extender. Right. So essentially you're on this track and it would go and you wouldn't have to use your own batteries right. to do it. It, right. it would power it kind yeah. of directly. Yeah. That seems like That's, a yeah. doable or a workable thing. Um, China actually has something like this that is a uh, solar panel highway. Kind of like, you remember the solar, solar roadways thing? Roads. <laughs> yeah, but apparently it's, uh, you know, it has issues and it has all kinds of problems because uh, it's the first one, obviously. Um, but what it's trying to do is, yeah, they're trying to collect and 
distribute the energy kind of all in one swoop right um and so so i think that like there are a lot of companies and in industries and governments and stuff working on this technology um it's not here um but it could be uh you know there's that thing in sweden i think it's maybe the thing you were mentioning yeah that may be what i was thinking of joe where it has these kind of two tracks down the middle that will charge the car um as it goes and then and then Honda actually invented uh, a technology like this to do it, ironically, that they don't really have an electric car <laughs> <laughs> they're selling. But, uh, but <laughs> Honda invented and patented some, some technology um, along these lines. So the way these guys are doing it in Sweden is interesting because, yeah, it's not the whole road like the one in China I just showed. It's just like a track down it, which would hmm. do that bit of it. So that might, you know, solve that. Uh, some of the challenges a little bit sure yeah, yeah. Um, and if you make it you know with strong steel whatever uh, cyber truck type stuff um, and then you know Norway is also doing this in a different way and this is where I think it might become a bit more realistic where it's not a while you're driving thing it's a I go to the grocery store and just pull my mm. car in there and it automatically starts charging because it's it's built into in like a wireless spots. Yeah, there's like a yeah. wireless pad there, and I just pull over it. So, that's that's not quite the same thing. Um, but like, I guess if the high level question is, are we ever going to see wireless charging for electric cars? I think the answer is yes. Uh, I believe actually Nissan may already have something like this uh, that you can install in your garage. But on the road, there are a lot of other challenges, and so that technology is going to take a long time to develop. Uh, mm. But I, I I could. I would not be shocked if we, de- you know, five, ten years from down the road, we're like, oh, yeah, we're just, I was on that electric highway. I didn't mm. have to worry about range. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I think it's going to come. Lane. Y- you know, like us Tesla owners, lane, we're, so, we're so, we're so, so full about things. I don't know. Yeah. It, would, it would be cool. You're right. It would be cool if there was, like, I'm just trying to think of how many people, what the demand would need to be before okay, now there's a whole lane on the highway that has this, right. that somehow is locked out, that only electric cars can use it, that have the system, that somehow yeah. you know autonomously well, knows to open the gate, blah, 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 when you're going 80 mile an hour, blah, 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 and then it charges the car, and then it charges the utility yeah. company, charges your car, and tells you how much money it spent doing oh, that and there's thing. All that, yeah. But, but what it, if it was a uh, for autonomous trucking, mm-hmm. and it wasn't a separate lane, it was just the regular lane that you're already in? But they happen to also just go in that lane and it has it. Like, I think that there's answers to all these things, I guess. Hmm. Not, right. not that, you know, so it's solvable, I, I believe. I think the biggest challenge is kind of the original one you pointed out, Tim, is that wireless charging in general sucks. It's just not efficient. Yeah. It's, it causes yeah. heat, and, and heat and batteries aren't friends, mm-hmm. you know. Um, mm-hmm. th- there have been some interesting things I've saw at CES the past couple of years where we have uh, actual wireless power now if you guys now i'm not talking like it's touching like the chi charger but like it's across the room like the light behind me is not plugged in Mm -hmm. and i have a little device you know uh, a couple meters away that's shoot beaming something over and powering it that Mm -hmm. i think is super fascinating and is clearly not going to cause brain cancer but (laughs) that would be that would be something that would be really neat imagine if you go into a parking garage and just everywhere you are in the parking garage has this whatever kind of uh, RF or something that's causing the power generation to happen. Yeah. I think you could see some stuff like that. That would be kind of actually way cooler. Well, I was going to show this as a part of this whole discussion. Uh, mm-hmm. When you are in, in Texas and you're driving down 35, and I don't know, maybe, Tim, you, you've seen this on your way through from time to time, but uh, you just a little south of Dallas, maybe about... Yeah. Maybe I'm about 45 miles or so, you will see this. This weird uh, Tesla, Tesla tower. Tesla coil? Yeah, an actual Tesla tower. It's like Wardenclyffe. Um, it's a company called Visive Technologies. And I reached out to them a little over a year ago, seeing if they would want to do a video. And they said they weren't quite there yet. I need to reach out to them again. But but that's what this is. It's, it's a wireless uh, uh, energy transfer technology. Um, Based so on actual wild. Nikola Tesla, yeah, yeah, patents probably right. Yeah, um, 
I don't so, know how uh, far along they are. I don't know how successful this is. I know it's just a, t- a testing thing right now, but um, it's interesting. And then they have on here like the health and safety aspect of it because it's not it's not ionizing radiation. It's like down here, sort of in the radio frequency. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's uh, what they call it millimeter wave technology. Five mm-hmm. G in other places. <laughs> yeah. Well, basically, yeah. Which, by the way, I mentioned that there's some of those 5G towers, millimeter wave. There's signs on them that people are posting, look above you, this thing's causing cancer, doing all this stuff, stop 5G. And it's like, oh my, I think if it does that, it wouldn't be allowed right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think oh. it, their customers wouldn't last very long. If it... <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, that's crazy, though. Yeah, I, yeah I, I hope that someday you can get into that thing, because that... Looks so crazy. I've driven down 35 and seen it, and just like it's weird looking. And and it made all the it made a lot of news stories because people were like, "What the hell is that?" Right. It's just this weird monolithic, phallic looking thing out there. Yeah. I'd be very curious to learn how many times it's been shot. (laughs) You are in Texas. I don't know what that is. Shoot it. We do have a minimum. Hey, thanks for checking us out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our podcast. We do a weekly show here on YouTube, so make sure and subscribe to Our Ludicrous Future, where we discuss all the things that are going to make our future totally ludicrous. You can join us here on YouTube or at any of your favorite podcast places. Plus, if you want to get some behind-the-scenes stuff and join a cool community, you can help support the channel at patreon.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.